Okay, so as promised, we are reacting to Waterloo 1970, the fan cut 2.1. The original video will be in the description. It is highly recommended you stay for a minute, okay? So, if you can like this video, it would very much help so. Um, the patrons, I thank you. Uh, you are above me. Now, let's talk about this movie for a second. This movie is going to be long. There are going to be very boring parts. Um, if you skip around, that's your prerogative. Uh, there should be a timer below us, and that will be continuously counting from when I start the movie. I will not be pausing with my space bar at all. Um, so we're just going through it all the way through. Um, I have seen parts of this movie many times. I have not seen the full movie because controversially, it's not very good. Elite, well, some of the bits aren't. Um, you'll probably see which ones I'm talking about. So, buckle in, grab your stuff, and uh, last disclaimer here, if you don't like blood, you don't like cussing, you don't like profanity, um, I don't think there's any sexualized content, but if you don't like anything of those, don't watch. People are going to die, you're going to see spines, you're going to see blood, okay? If you don't want me cussing, this video is not for you, do not watch this with children, that's what I'm saying here, okay? Um, and if you're offended by any of those things. Otherwise, with a disclaimer out of the way, uh, let us get on to one of <laughs> the best historical movies that has ever been made in terms of extras with 15,000 extras from the Soviet army. So, let's get to it. I'll be good now. I just had to make sure the timer was going. <sighs> Waterloo was released in 1970 with a runtime of 134 minutes, according to the film director's Richard Myers. It is the longest version. The Russian release is very slightly different with a handful of new shots and some shortened scenes, including the controversial horse fall cut from the UK version. Probably means a horse died. This cut is a combination of the UK and Russian versions, as well as reconstruction of four scenes that were shot but never included. The fan cut still uses the cut scenes reference with the script present to a slightly expanded version of the film and it's clear that the reason for cutting the scenes was due to pacing and the fan film was on apply in pretty improvement i hope you all enjoy the fan film basically is what he says all right Napoleon Bonaparte, inspiring his own people with his military and political genius and his revolutionary fervor, became within a few brief years Emperor of France and Master of all of Europe. In 1812, after 15 years of victory, he met with disaster in the Russian campaign. He did, by 1813, defeated by the combined forces of Austria, Russia, Prussia, and England at Leipzig. Napoleon was driven to the ferry gates at Paris, there to await his destiny. So this is taking place 1814. Um, if I remember correctly, this is his abdication scene, more or less. So this is him right outside Paris. There's my man. There's my boy, Ney. the old guard. I did say this movie might be boring for little parts of it, but there you go. and blue Wednesday April 20th right outside Paris 
For 20 years we followed you. You made a road of glory through Europe. We cannot even save the suburbs of Paris. The Austrians. They're in Versailles. The Cossacks are watering the horses in the sand. They can hear the Prussian cannon in Montmartre. There are four nations, four armies, four fronts against us. You know, Spanish, but yeah. The Portuguese. Also, if you're wondering why I'm wearing this dookie headset and I have to move it around, it's because, well, it hurts my head sometimes, and uh, I'm poor. So. Abdicate. Your enemies will allow you to retire to the island of Elba with a personal guard of a thousand men. It's 400. It is an honorable exile, sire. There's nothing left for you to do but abdicate. Sign, sire. You must sign. Why? So you all can keep the titles, the titles I gave you? What were you before me? Nothing. I made you. You must abdicate, sire. It's more of a direct quote, sire. kind of. Listen to me, Ney. If there's anything I despise, it's ingratitude. What can I do? What? I sent to the Emperor of Russia for peace. He refused me. What can we do? What can we do? What can we do? We can fight! Fight! I fortify Paris. I disengage from Austria. I find a line of retreat to Italy. In a bubble, we must consolidate, consolidate, mobilize, mobilize, train the recruits on the march. There are no more men to mobilize. The army doesn't want the same thing to happen to Paris as happened to Moscow. That's a direct quote Wellington. from the name. I think, if I remember correctly. Wellington. Why is it always Wellington? I didn't even think he knew. Wellington, 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 Wellington. Why are you all so afraid of Wellington? Is it because he beat you in Spain? Is that why? France will not follow you. France will follow me to the stars if I give her another victory. You have no choice. You have to give up the throne. <laughs> oh, nay, nay, nay. The throne. Do you know what the throne is, nay? The throne is an over decorated piece of furniture. It's what's behind the throne that counts. My brains, my ambitions, my desires, my hope, my imagination, and above all, my will. I can't believe my ears. You all stand before me waving a piece of paper, crying, abdicate, abdicate. I will not! I will not! 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 I remember correctly, it took him a few days to come around to the idea. That is 100% true. All his men.
Also, sorry, there is no subtitles. I, I can't turn them on. Just for future reference. And Marmot did surrender, and... When? This morning? Was the um, I think it's Leipzig. It was eighteen thirteen. Yeah, he lost all of his guys pretty much. Marshal Marmont has surrendered his army to the Austrians. It was his last hope. To say goodbye. France has fallen. So remember me. Though I love you all, I cannot embrace you all. With this kiss, remember me. Goodbye, my soldiers. Goodbye, my sons. Goodbye, my children.
so he could only take around 400 guards, and that's, his old guard was way bigger than that. It's a couple thousand guys. And the symbolism of him kissing the flag basically means I love France more than myself. Also, this happened a few days later from the last scene, so. Meiji, Fortune of Holy Sail in Exile, the small Mediterranean of Elba. I guess I was wrong about Elba and Leipzig. I don't know why I thought, like, Elba was a battle. Uh, why Elba, I guess. Cinematography of the Soviet Union. Ten months, uh, Napoleon escapes the Elba in a desperate gamble with less than a thousand men. He invades the mainland of Europe, and that is true. He lands in the south of France. Tour Lurizivo, March 1st, 1818. A little bit fast. There is the king of France, the Bourbon the 18th, or Louis the 18th. Your Majesty, the monster. Has escaped from Elba. We can thank God he's mad enough to land in France. Well, it's not dramatized yet. Napoleon and his followers, a thousand men. They're not really dangerous. Yet. Marshal Salt, you'll keep command of our troops here in Paris. Marshal Ney, you will be the first to confront the werewolf. I know you love this man. I did. Once. But I promise your majesty I'll bring him back to Paris in an iron cage. That's a direct quote from Ney. You can see the symbolism, so that's sold on the left. You can see the symbolism of why people didn't exactly like the Bourbons being restored and King Louis XVIII specifically to the monarchy of France. That whole scene. How exaggerate all this. The soldiers. In an iron cage. <laughs> Nobody asked for that.
the way around. The ways forward. Second call! Back to the ball! To the right! I was about to say, he picked up a lot of guys, well, not a lot, but he picked up some guys by now when he confronts Nay here. It's not just his personal guard anymore. Soldiers of the 5th, do you recognize me? If you want to kill your emperor, I am. I don't know if that seems 100% correct, but basically it happened like that. And the entire army defects and goes to, to Napoleon. Think about how unpopular you you have to be for this to happen. Follow me to Grenoble. 
that whole symbolism of him throwing his sword down. Threw the sword down. He's basically saying, "I surrender slash I give up the Bourbon monarchy." And when Napoleon picked it up, at least what I get from it is he handed it back to him. He's like, "You're now. I forgive you. Join me again." And, and he does. Straight. Well, come then. We'll show him your red head. And that was that is a true thing. He did have red hair. He was kind of made fun of. May it was at least. You got Polish lawns right there. Get your face near the way you stood over me at Fontainebleau, forcing me to abdicate. I did what I had to do. For France. And what's good for France? I understand you made a promise to the king. Yes, sir. Something about a cage? Yes. What was it, exactly? I said I'd bring you back to Paris in an iron cage. <laughs> That's what I heard you said. In the back of those bearskin caps, they have the Grenadier badge. And it is in Ney's personality to be like, yeah, that's what I said. What you gonna do about it? I mean, he's a very headstrong man. And what happened to him after this is, I don't agree with it. Should have been stripped of his titles? Sure. Executed? Perhaps the people oh. will let me go as they let him come. If I remember correctly, every uniform here for the King's Guard here is correct for the time. For this specific unit, too. So all those guys with the, the blue and the red, 100% accurate. And one of the marshals there was Marshal McDonald. He remained loyal to the king. And he escorted him out of Paris, all the way to the border, if I remember correctly.
Boulancourt, Moyen, Moulet, Boucher. See me in a half hour. We have a small problem to solve. What, sire? What? Why, when France wakes up tomorrow morning, it must have a government. <laughs> mm. Drouot? Yes, sire. Let me tell you something. The most precious quality in life is loyalty. Loyalty. And you, Drouot, are a man. A rare man. Untainted and true. Will you join me? I need you. With all my heart, sire. Thank you, Drouot. I believe there are a few marshals, him maybe, and another one that, showed, that were at this place. So when Napoleon came. There's Salt. Remember, remember Salt and Ney were in the same room. I see you got my invitation. Yes, sire. I understand you're no longer the king's minister of war. Obviously not, sire. Obviously not, Salt. <laughs> Silence! You're to be my chief of staff, except. I accept, sire. Good, Sult. All's well that ends well. His chief of staff, remember, Berthier was his chief of staff. And Berthier is not a replaceable man. Your son, Ferdinand, was killed when he fell off a horse at a review. No, 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 no. Musset must go. We need more conscripts. We need more men. We must sweep the area again. Signature. Your son was very brave and persisted in his duties. I'm sorry, madam. That fate hasn't been more discriminating. To my dear Prince Alexis. Emperor of Russia. I did not usurp the crown. I found it in the gutter. And I, I picked it up with my sword. And it was the people, Alexis. The people who put it on my head. He who saves a nation violates no law. Well, Napoleon did coup the government in 1804, so it's not exactly accurate that he was elected. To my beloved wife, I beg you not only as my wife, but as the daughter of Austria, my enemy, please return to me my most precious possession. My son. To the Prince Regent, England. Your Royal Highness, you've been my most generous enemy for 20 years. But now I want, I want peace. Peace. Therefore, I protest the presence of Wellington. When he says a prince regent, he means George IV, because George III, that we all know and love from the American Revolution, is a bit insane. My so. son is my future. And I would rather see him dead than raised as a captive Austrian prince. So he's sending letters to all the monarchs, basically. Here you go. Well, they've done it. 
declared me an enemy of humanity, all Europe has declared war against me. Not against France, but against me. Yep, and 100% accurate. They dignify you, sire, by making you a nation. That is true. <laughs> dignify. Dignify, they deny me the decency of law. They make it legal that any clown can kill me. What's the news of Wellington? Still in Brussels, sir. Still with old Blucher. They started the war. Let them bleed. Yes, let them bleed. Well, I'll discuss peace over Wellington's dead body. That's my peace table. Marshal Soult, sire. It's urgent. It's always urgent. Well, show them in. Steam coming out of the lion's head. The armies of Wellington and Blucher have separated, sire. Separated? Yes, sire. Separated? Yes. <laughs> I wonder what history will say of them. <laughs> you know what we do, so We push Blucher aside, then we march on to Wellington, eh? Yes. <sighs> then it'll be a bloody day. Yes, sire. Oh, yes, Soot. Everything depends on one big battle, just like at Marengo. Thank you, Soot. He will reference Marenko again, don't worry. Also, for some reason, people. June 15, 1815. I'm just gonna say it now. This, where they're taking place? No. Took place in a barn. So some of these things are not right. So this took place in a barn, but the dance is real. for my inspection this morning. So I just rode up and down, in and out, and nipped my fancy. Mama, you chose such big ones. Of the Highlanders, 91st. Black Watch, if I remember you know, correctly, but that looked like it.
the Duke of Wellington. You really are the best of my generals. <laughs> we ladies just have to follow the drum. This season, soldiers are the fashion. Where would society be without my boys? <laughs> The salt of England, Arthur. Scum. Nothing but beggars and scoundrels. All of them. Gin is the spirit of their patriotism. Yet you expect them to die for you? Mm hmm. That's what Wellington thought Out of the British soldiers. Duty? Mm hmm. Oh, I doubt if even Bonaparte could draw men to him by duty. Oh, Bernie's not a gentleman. Arthur, what an Englishman you are. On a field of battle, his hat is worth 50,000 men. But he's not a gentleman. That quote is apparently 40,000 men, but changed for 50. And that is true! Napoleon's not a gentleman, like Sir Arthur Wellesley. Your grace? And yes, Sir Arthur Wellesley did actually distaste British soldiers. Imagine. As an aristocrat and a nobleman. Let me look at Napoleon. I promise I won't get too near. Mama admires him. I am a little bit of a Bonapartist. Hmm. Is it true what they say that he's a monster? Mm. He eats laurels and drinks blood. And when, my dear Arthur, will you venture into his lair? Hmm? You know, he hasn't given me any idea. It all depends on... Uh... I'll just say the females of this movie, you could tell this is before. I mean, this movie was made in the 70s. So this was made in 68. I, I'll leave it at that. Females, uh... Yeah. Driver, tomorrow we'll dry our boots in Brussels. God willing, sir. God, God's got nothing to do with it. God, God's got nothing to do with it. You're right. We march by ourselves. And the old guard again. God, I love the old guard. Especially in this movie. Very good. Polish Ulans with the red and white. Also remember this dude, it'll come up later. The one dancing with the uh, female with the brun uh, black brunette hair. And these two. Let young Hay get killed, Arthur. An engagement? I don't want Sarah to wear black before she's worn white. Referring to when you wear black when somebody dies and she's not married yet but engaged. Mama, did his promise to get me a Caress's helmet as a work basket? 
Without any blood on it, Mama. And one for me, young man. With the blood. Where do you intend to stick your Frenchman head? Yeah? I thought under the right arm, sir. See, Mama, he has it planned. When you meet a Carassier, lead to me. You'll be lucky if you bring away your life with you. Never mind his helmet. Boy, yeah. you'll learn the art of fighting from the French. Madam. He's right. Carassiers are not a joke. They're professional. I've never seen such a set of sprats. General Picton doesn't even know how to walk in a ballroom. But he's very good when he's dancing with the French. But one dances with them in a field. Here comes the Prussians. That gentleman will spoil the dancing. Napoleon, sir. He I'm has. Aware, Muffling. Napoleon has crossed the border. With all his forces, he has come between both our armies. Where? At Chalwa. Yep. me to stop the ball, Arthur. No, 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 I want no alarm. All of us as obliged ladies will finish the dance. We should not cause a panic. Bridge, move your cavalry immediately towards Shalwa. Picton, your division will march out tonight. Shalwa. in Spain. We've had so little time together. But, Madeline, a battle is no place. I'm frightened. I may never see you again. On his right, he should be on his left by now. He should have come by Mont's lodging. What could be simpler than Charlotte? He's humbugged me. In a night's march, he's made us piecemeal. I must concede he's gained a victory at the cost of bootlaces. Yep. If Marshal Blucher stays in Belgium, I stay too. On that promise, Lord Duke, Blucher would tie his men to trees if necessary. Yep. These four roads here. Quatre bras. He's bound to go for them, sir. If we yep. can't hold him there. I'll stop him here. I'll stop him at Waterloo right before uh, Brussels. And that's where the battlefield has been picked. It will go down in industry. 
By God, that man does war on us. I remember, Wellington and Napoleon had never faced each other up to this point. Langley, the 16th of June, 1815. Luker is waiting, Your Majesty, at Langley, in line of battle. So this is Salt, his chief of staff. Unbelieving. At Langley, quick. We'll satisfy that old man's thirst. Ling, ling me. Hell and super to them. The gates of hell to them. Seventy-two years old and going. killed under him as a 72 year old man that's bad let alone like of a 20 year old that's bad a 72 year old i mean surprised he survived that and yep this is when blucher uh napoleon engaged blucher right before waterloo field of glory is never a pretty sight nevertheless 16,000 prussian dead that's good news to slap on the walls of paris Wellington's on the run. I caught him at Catabra. He's retreating. If he's retreating, what are you doing here? Well, I came to make my report. If Wellington's retreating, what are you doing here? Why didn't you follow him? Why didn't you pursue him? Where were the reinforcements you promised me? Don't you dare criticize me. Don't you dare. Don't you see if Wellington's free to choose his ground, everything I've won in this campaign, you've lost? This is 100% accurate. Napoleon was furious at Nay for not Marshal pursuing Bruker, him. The sector is broken. I have ordered a retreat. Retreat? I am 72 and a proud soldier. This steel is my worth. I am too old to break it. If Wellington runs for the coast, none of us will get home to Berlin. You can see the, the Iron Cross on him. Namir. I do not trust the English. Nonetheless, because I have served you before, sir, I have ordered the retreat to Wagner. You may still cooperate with Wellington, but God help us if he does not stand. Bouchy! Gérard! Bouchy, tell her. You take 30,000 men. 30,000 men, one third of my army. You take them in and you pursue, you understand? You pursue Blucher. You don't let them regroup, you don't let them consolidate, and above all, you don't let them rejoin. But there are ten different ways and directions Blucher might go, sire. Vavre and Namur. Blucher is not a scatter of birds, Marshal Grouchy. We'll find him on one road. Enough's enough! Let's not have any disagreement. Any disagreement will only lead to disaster. Is that understood? Grouchy, Gerard, you can go. Go, go, go. And the faithful decision to put Grouchy in charge instead of the second. We'll come back to bite Napoleon in the ass. Napoleon next time. Luca. Damn good licking and rolled 18 miles back. <laughs> so, we go to. Keep on that way, too. Well, I suppose in England they'll say we've been licked. <laughs> Can't help that. That's ah, mad. It's all madness. They know what they're doing. Look, I keep asking you if Boney kicked the Prussians in the arse, why are we doing all the running? <laughs> a retreating army is hardly ever in love with its commander. Right, sir. A few shots from the French and they'll be themselves again. The Highlander boys, the Black Watch. I like the cut of your men, Gordon. 
Ah, damn forward fellas with a bayonet, Wellington. Meat and eggs from the cradle up and a lemon a month. That still in the Jeep a gallows The crew was a common with a big jail and two cents. All from my own acres, bred of myself. Some there could call me something more than Colonel, eh? <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> That must be the whole army. They're still positioning, sire. Never interrupt your enemy when he's making a mistake. That's bad manners, eh? <laughs> no, it's a bad position, Wellington. With that wood behind us, it's unsound. If they push us back, it'll be like a war. The whole army will be cut to pieces. There's no undergrowth in that wood. You can drive a battery of... Nine pounders. A whole army can slip through it like rain through a grate. It's suicidal, if you want to know. It may surprise you to know, Picton, that I saw this ground a year ago. And I've kept it in my pocket. And if you see him a year ago, it would make sense that he would choose this place, right? He, know, he knows the grain. His second Picton was basically saying, there's woods behind us. If we get pushed back, whole army's gonna die. Because they can't run out that way. They can't escape easily. And Wellington says, basically, don't worry about it. Obviously, he's no student of Caesar. He's positioned himself badly. He's got the trees at his back. We'll give him no provocation. Maybe he'll leave tonight. And it was heavily raining the day before Waterloo. And it's going to affect the actual battle because it's so muddy. Come on, come on. You're nosing your way right into the pot. There you are. Shh. Look, keep quiet and I'll only eat half of you. Forgive me, sir. But if you took the troops into confidence, they'd know what they were about. Mm. If I thought my hair knew what my brain was thinking, I'd shave it off and wear a wig. Mm. <laughs> Here comes old Archie. Get your feet. Your old friend, sir. Ah, the Inniskillen. I hang and flog more of them than I do the rest of the army put together. <laughs> Evening. Evening. That's a fine night, sir. There's a pig in his bag. Uh, take off your pack, sir. Me, sir? You, sir. <laughs> Yeah. Open it, sir. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, oh look, oh. a pig! <laughs> um, jeez. I, I knew something queer was scratching me back, sir. Oh. <laughs> Where did you acquire this uh, plunder, sir? This, sir? That, sir. Ah, uh, uh, no, no, sir. This, uh, this plunder acquired me, uh, sir. <laughs> you know the penalty for uh, plundering, sir. Yeah. Uh, Stop the job, Jen. Which is sir. stealing. Damn you, sir, it's death. Yeah, sir. Damn you, sir, it's death. I have to report. This, this little pig has lost its way and and I'm trying to find her relations, sir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> They're trying to find her family, yeah. <sighs> this fellow knows how to defend a hopeless position. 
Uh, race him to corporal. Yes, sir. Make it a goat next time, Paddy, <laughs> and you'll be a sergeant. <laughs> I don't know what they'll do to the enemy. By God, they frighten me. Yep. Uh, this man knows how to. Night. Hard morrow. This man knows how to hold a defense, hold, uh, defend a hopeless position, promotes into a corporal because these three positions, Hugo Mall, uh, the three farmhouses, they're going to be where a lot of the fighting is. Yes, sir. If I fail tomorrow, God, I hope, will have mercy on me. Or nobody else will. on the Prussians. Why is it Grouchy does only six miles a day and I do ten? The mud on that slope would help us. We must slither up to it. But the roads could slow blue car and that would be the end of it. Well, tell him the roads are the same for everyone. True? True? Yes, sir. She's moving slow. Then you tell him to walk faster. Napoleon did 10. Grushi's doing 6. Luca's gonna get out. Your battle, Field Marshal. You may fight your battle. Where is Grushi? And his 30,000 men. Grushi is following us. Step by step. He's not between us. What's the time, hey? I think it's after two, Your Grace. It's ten to two, sir. Muffling, I must ask you to go out once more tonight. Oblige me with a fresh horse, sir. I beg Marshal Blucher to come to Waterloo by one o'clock. Don't you see? Uxbridge. The clicking of the heels is a very German Bushy thing. Turns and comes between us. And catches a Prussian strung out on the march. Then it would be just a matter of counting our dead. With such a risk, dare we rely on Luca? We have to rely on each other, Uxbridge. Yep. Gentlemen. Who did you give your watch to, Hay? Somerset, sir. Expecting to die tomorrow? I don't like those thoughts. <laughs> Having them sometimes makes them come true. That is true. Get your watch back. Tomorrow I'll ask you the time every five minutes. He's going to make him as basically aide de camp. Basically, Wellington's personal secretary. Sire, should I send for Dr. Loray? Should I call the doctor? <laughs> no, 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 doctor. Napoleon was unwell in this battle. Again, stomach cancer what? is what we think he died from in 1821. And yeah, he's gonna be—he's not gonna be his self. Let's put it that way for this battle. He's gonna leave the field too to take a rest. So Napoleon was not exactly on his A game. 
can't help that, really. I mean, the man had cancer, so. Get out. Out, 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 out. Everyone out. Stop raining. The battle could have actually very much changed if Napoleon was not, you know, sick, but... They're wearing a white cloak. That's nice. <laughs> uh, he doesn't talk to the likes of you and me. Did you have bacon for breakfast? <laughs> Morning, Ramsey. Morning, Cab. Filthy night, wasn't it? Morning, gentlemen. Morning, sir. Morning, sir. Morning, sir. I like the fact that Quip brought to check out his stripe on the mirror, because again, they were poor, they didn't have stuff like that. Officers do, but... This one.
What are you all staring at? You all right, sir? That was last night. <laughs> <laughs> Never felt better in my life. Come, we eat. I'm afraid this afternoon you'll all need bigger napkins. <laughs> <laughs> We attack at nine. What's the condition of the ground? It will not dry before noon, sir. Well, we've fought with mud in our boots before. True. That's true, that's true. What's that? Sunday morning. The priest in Blanc's Noir won't give up his mass. Well, he won't have much of a congregation. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Now again, Napoleon has to put on a show that he is well, he is still unwell. Not asleep, to Sire, we need four hours. The ground is too soft, I cannot move my cannon. If I waited four hours, I would have lost the Battle of Austerlitz. Wellington won't hold us an hour. Not with that bouillabaisse of his. English, Brunswickers, Belgians, and God knows what else. Yep. Sire, I cannot answer for my cannon. You are the cannon, Drouot. If we could attack at 12, it would be better. Battles are lost and won in a quarter of an hour. If Wellington True. were on the move, then I would say, go now. But he is sitting, sire, with the mud in his favor. In his favor. <sighs> that is one of the mistakes, he is not going sooner. I mean, he's not gonna have artillery support. And the ground isn't gonna get much better, I'll tell you that. And look, every single one of these people you see on screen right now is an actual person and an extra. Provided to you by the Soviet Union. <laughs> oh, 15,000. Uxbridge. Ah, uh, Uxbridge. As I am second in command, and in case anything should happen to you, what are your plans? To beat the French. Beat the French, sir. <laughs> Look at that. This will never be replicated again in our history. I guarantee you. They had the Soviet army send 15,000 people to come film this. Look at them, all actual people. They even have the glint off of some of their belts. Dramatic fellows, these French. Music and banners. Quite beautiful. You're a lucky fellow, aren't you, hey? To see such a wonder in your first battle. I believe they had 2,000 cowboymen that were actual experienced riders that would kill themselves too, so... Dang. 
my god, it's a beautiful sight. Paid for by the Soviet Union. That's one thing you could give communist countries, I guess. You could just cut script 15,000 people to be in a movie. Monster. So there's the great thief of Europe himself. Your Grace, Napoleon has ridden within range. May I have your permission to try a shot? It's honorable, sir. Certainly not. It's honorable to do something such as that. Cannot. Of armies have something better to do than to fire at each other. Yep. That and you wouldn't hit shit at that range anyway, so... Time this morning. Yep. Indulgent. This beginner. Wellington is just trying to buy time right Normally now. Normally I don't like cheering. But there's always a time to cut cards with the devil. Would you kindly announce me, Delancey? Also, if I remember correctly, the history history book said that this song particularly was after Napoleon. After this battle, actually, so it's not historical. I've no need of a white horse to puff me, by God. Who gives swords a martial suit? Who gives jolly French joy a jolt? Who's the beef that will peck on his bum? Who makes the parley vu to run? Who's the boy with the hooky nose? Sire. Yes, Marshal. More orders here than a war for the siege of Troy. Yes. He's laying hay down, huh? Probably for the mud. Let's be honest. You can tell by the position of his guns. His might is on the right side. So that's what he's afraid of, is right. All right. Therefore, that's where we'll tease him. We'll have a diversionary action. We'll... We'll tease him on the right side. Then if he weakens his center to support the right, then... Then I'll know the caliber of this English aristocrat. Gentlemen. Yeah, he put his guns on his right. He has as many infantry on his right. Basically what Napoleon just said there. So he's afraid of his right, which means he doesn't have as much strength. Clever chap, your tailor, hey? Dunmore and Locks. In St. James, your grace. Remind me of that, Delancey. 
I always like my men well dressed for the enemy. Hmm. La Bedwire. Yes, sir. Do you have any children? Yes, sir. I have one son. Very young. No taller than your boot. And if he were with you, would you want him to be here today? Yes. Yes, why? So he could see you, sir. <laughs> see me. You know I have a son. And I'd give anything in the world to see him. I'd give my heart, I'd give my life. But not here. I wouldn't want him to witness this battle today. He hasn't seen his son in a long time at this point, like over a year now. He was not allowed to bring his wife or his son into exile in Elba, so. These messengers on their horses were running. His strength is beyond that hill. What he shows me is only a facade. That is true. He is clever. Clever. Look at how many extras there are. We'll begin the attack there. At Ugomont. At Ugomont. A sight to behold. All the glittering too. You can tell the Zach the real. the ball <laughs> 35 minutes past 11 11:35 Thank you gentlemen return to your positions Return to your positions Cannons aren't rolling back, but I mean, some of them are after. They would shoot back if they had an actual cannon, but you know. But god damn, look at this. Look at this shot.
officers on horses. Yep. Do one more. Eleven fifty-five. No, sir. He intends to turn us on the right. What the master seems to intend and what he does will be as different as white knight to black bishop. We can correct. quickly move the 95th down, sir. I do not intend to run around like a wet hen. There'll be plenty of time, sir. Those officers in the background are also accurate. If I remember correctly. Such and such. Both in. Going on since 1135. He hasn't moved. He's nailed himself to his ridge. He's using a French hussar. Englishman has two qualities that I admire caution and above all. Yep, Wellington's not moving. That is kind of not good for Napoleon. He hasn't moved. Now's the time to move all the heavy artillery against Picton. Yeah, look at them all sitting down. I mean, what are you gonna do? You gotta stand there. Might as well. I'll be there for a few hours. It seems he's swinging his way to you, Picton. I've never seen guns move so smoothly. Moves his cannon with the likeness of a pistol. I doubt a violent brigade will stand. Never mind. Let him have a taste of it. If they don't run first. Let's go, Nay. Same old style. So we'll have to meet them in the same old style. I think those are Austrians on his right. Officers. White. They're attacking in column. Wow. This one's going to take careful timing. French Fusiliers. Do you not, boys? Get it while you can. The French will have it out of you in a minute, anyway. Dick? No, thank you. Supper, Jim. With His Majesty's compliments. Remind me to thank him next time we visit the palace. What would you say? There are many of them. Mm. Look, I'm not God, am I? To see through a hill. It's like it's like the whole of bloody hell is coming up out of the ground. 
Nothing frightens me more than being next to a friend of the Almighty. <laughs> Jeez. The second will prepare to advance. I would not be surprised if drummer boys like that were used. Pretty sure they were actually. I mean, they had boys on ships at like age 10 to 12, maybe even eight. Before we go, Axbridge. Hmm? I think it's cocaine. Somebody can correct me. Somebody could correct me. <laughs> anymore. My father left us a hundredweight, down to the last ounce. An old Jew in Alexandria had to blend. <laughs> blend? <laughs> My father, poor fellow, was killed by the French. Never should have happened. His horse got bogged in a plowed field and the brute just gave up. Seven damn lances had him like a tiger in a pit. Bad luck, they asked me. Yeah, There's something to be remembered about this character, this one in particular. Yes, particularly bad luck. He had 400 better horses at his stables at Hatton. Now 2 p.m. at Hugo Moss. They've been fighting since 11.35. Violence Brigade is broke. Plug the gap, if you please. Now's the time for the heavy cavalry, I think. By all means, sir. Gordon, get your bastards up onto the crest. I'll bring up the rest of the brigade. Don't hurry yourself, Pick. My lads will hold them. Aye, till you come. Get forward, damn your eyes. The 92nd will advance. 92nd. Return, McCurry! I thought I was wrong about the 91st, but not for like what? And yes, those are spears. Has Wellington nothing to offer me but these Amazons? And the spears are um, ceremonial. They're not, they're like kind of like standards. Yes, they're not, I mean, you can use them, but. Only one person had it, so per Fire! company, I think. Maybe battalion. The little boy is dead. Scott's Scott Scott's heavy cavalry. Yep, here we go. Can you imagine seeing this in a, in a modern movie? Man. Those men on grey horses are terrifying. They are the noblest cavalry in Europe and the worst led. Hmm. That may be. That may be. But we'll match them with our lances. Polish Ulans. 
We have lances. British do not. No horses were definitely made hurt in the making of this movie. Totally not. This shot. Perfection. As you can hear, you can barely hear it. The poultry lines are moving to counter them on their side. Stop that useless noise. You'll hurt yourself. If they can't hear it, it doesn't nothing you can do. Again, you want to change a battle in any ancient history battle, you give people walkie-talkies or radios. It's a game changer, but... Remember, the British only have swords. These Ulans have their lances and their swords after. Give these to my son. Right on, save yourself. <laughs> Remember, he said that his, uh, his dad also died from the French lancers. And he's dead, because longer reach on a... Yep, he's dead now. Longer reach with the lance. Let's see. Bombarding the shit out of each other. My God, sir. The cannon are calling us. March to the sound of the guns. We are a third of the army. Our duty is to... Do not presume to teach me my duty, General Gerard. My orders from the Emperor were precise. To keep my sword in Blucher's back. If you will not march to the sound of the guns, allow me to go. Yep, this happened. And divide my force. France would hang me. Maybe France would be right. Yes, sir. No, that's true. Grushy marched to the guns. What's Probably would have won, but. I see men marching in column. Maybe five or six thousand. He's right. Yeah. 
I see horses now. Horses? But who's? The French? Or the Prussians? I think it's Grouchy's blue, sir. It's what we feared, sir. Grouchy has come across. Damn it, it could be Prussian black. Yep, that was the thing. It's either blue or black. They're very similar when you flick that far away. Hey, your eyes are young. You tell me the color. I think they're... I think they're... Prussians. Yep. That's not necessary. That's not necessary. It's the Prussians. Yep, it is. But as far as you and I are concerned, and the army, they're on the moon. Is that understood? Yes, sir. This Wellington wages war in a new way. He fights sitting on his ass. <laughs> well, we'll have to move him off it. Where is Grouchy? Laissant. The one who wins the farmhouse wins the battle. Go on. That was what Nay is good at, a tactical air. And yes, the army will lose very much heart if they learn that the present army is coming too. We don't know, Bird. Where is Gushi? I need those men! Where is Gushi? Why do I have to do everything myself? Sire! Sire, are you wounded? As your doctor, I advise you to come off the field, sire. Sire, you must lie down for an hour. I'm all right. It's, it's just my stomach. I'm all right. I'm all right. Stomach cancer. Is. I said I would have six more good years. And now it's ten years and nine campaigns later. Listening? Every word. After I'm dead and I'm gone, what do you think the world will say of me? It will say you extended the limits of glory. <laughs> it's true. Is that all I'm going to leave my son? The limits of glory? Concentrating his cavalry. The infantry is still sitting. Smoke without fire. What's he at? A hard pounding, gentlemen. Yes, sir. Lord Hay. Your Grace. Take yourself for a run. General Lambert will retire a hundred paces between the reverse slopes. But Your Grace. Do as you're told, sir. Do as you're told, sir. 
That's the British of being very. Oh, that was. The army will retire 100 paces. The army will retire 100 paces. The 27th will take position behind the Gordon. Nay's fateful decision. He thinks Wellington is running. Sir, it's a bad policy to stay near a tree in a thunderstorm. It attracts the bolt. I'll take your impudent advice. Wellington's retreating! Wellington's retreating! Mio, follow me! We are with you, sir! Again, he thought he was retreating, so. And he can't see that they're not. And you do send cavalry after retreating units to kill or capture most of them. He's a very good commander and when he's being told what to do. Very inspiring to his men. Give them grape till the last second, then just disable your guns and get into the nearest square. The bad hollow there, sir, worse than a pit. You must go around it. Fire! So yeah, they're gonna fire grape, which is just basically a shotgun blast, and then run for it. Or blow up the guns. Or disable them. Plug the gun, do something to the gun to make it, you know, not operable. Fall back. Oh, so they only get one shot, not multiple. Run for it. Magnificent shot. God damn, this shot's good. Guys wearing breastplates and the big helmet with the fur. Those are crossiers. What's Snay doing? What's the... happening? Can I leave the field for a minute? What's he doing there? How can a man go forward with the cavalry without infantry support? What's the matter with you? That is, yep. Those crossiers are some of the best cavalry men in Europe. Oh, looks like one square broke on the right. Oh. Across the ears.
Ed. And that's the, uh... Not the bagpipe, man! The young kid who died was the one with the... gonna get married. Thank you. Remember, the soldiers don't hate each other. barely see anything at this point. General Lambert, my best wishes. Delancey, move that battery down towards Ugomor. There it is. He's, uh... You can see his spine. Let's put it that way. He's, uh, he's dead. These units is the King's German Legion on the British side. 6 p.m. As they cross the air. Napoleon, you are wounded, sir. No, I am killed and I have died for you. So, yes, sir. you write a letter to Paris? Yes. Right now? And you tell him that? What time do you think it is? I think about 6 o'clock, sir. Good. You tell him that? At six o'clock? Yes. We broke Wellington's forces? Yes, yes, sir. And we won the battle? No. Tell them that we won the war. We won the war. The farmhouse has fallen, sir. We can't hold them. It appears, Uxbridge, we're losing the battle. Give me night. Or give me blue coat. Wellington's beaten. He's bled to death. Now, now move the old guard forward, then on to Brussels. The scene, 10 out of 10. Sire! 
If you go any further, you will be killed. Where else should the general die but on the top? You must go back. Please. And it would have been very inspiring if Napoleon did go, but he can't. Because killed, it's over. Position on the left, sir. I want what remains of us here. Here. The gentleman has washed his face. Here. Every brigade, every battalion, here. Put every gun to them, sir. Every gun. Very good. The lads are down to five rounds a man, Wellington. Oh, aye, they'll stand. If Marshal Blucher doesn't come through now, they'll break every bone in my body. Good beans, Wellington. If there is anything in this world about which I know positively nothing, it is agriculture. It's for other people. Mistake in my life, I should have burned Berlin. Raise Probably. Eyes of black flags, children. No pity. No prisoners. I'll shoot any man I see with pity in him. Forward! Man Bluger, 72 years old, still going. I 
been in this position before at the Battle of Marengo. I lost the battle at five o'clock, but I won it back again at seven! <laughs> Marshal Ney. British hands. One more arm, we have them beaten. Don't you know me? I'm Ney. Ney, Marshal of France. Sir, the Prussians are here. That's it. That's what they call a rap, boys. Damn me, Axbridge. If I ever saw 30,000 men run a race before. The whole line will advance. In which direction, Your Grace? Why, straight ahead, to be sure. Got 30 seconds until you're dead. My God, sir. So you have. Get forward with you! Somebody can tell me, but I don't think you've lived through getting your leg blown off. But... The only unit to hold at this point was the old guard. The only unit left that kept fighting. Mad respect to these guys. We're doing murder, Your Grace. I hope to God. I fought my last battle. Luckily, this was for the Napoleonic Wars, at least. Wellington invites you to save your lives. 
Will you agree to surrender? Supposedly, he never said that, and he said that he never said that, but France, on his deathbed, the country of France, put that on his tombstone <laughs> after he died. But either way, it ends the same, which is, unfortunately, this. Luca, what business? 20 years it took, but what a business. It was a hard bargain, Luca. All day without you. Could not have done it alone. Been alone. Been done. It. We'd your butt, Wellington. You cut the throat. You had a bucket of it. You have made history for England today. There were 50,000 dead and wounded in this battle. They did not have enough. Well, really, nobody had any medical supplies, so people were left out here for days, which is unfortunate. And the looting has started. That's a lot of people on screen, regardless. I just, that's a lot of dead.
I'm not surprised he's dead. He broke ranks and went out there. Next to a battle lost, the saddest thing is a battle won. True. Leave this place of dead flesh. There's a name. Like Prometheus to a rock. Where the memory of your own greatness will gnaw you. I hope you guys enjoy my reaction to it at least. We will watch the whole thing, obviously, but. Watching the credits. But yes, I think this is one of the. Uh... I mean, we're never gonna get a movie like this again. This is this is very special and near and dear to my heart. Uh, 15,000 extras, 2,000 cavalrymen. The Soviet Army will provide, and it does. Now again, there may have been some bits you might want to cut out, but I mean, hey. Now this was actually directed by a dude in the Soviet Union, the Soviet Union director. But you gotta give him props for, for doing this. Especially because it doesn't involve the Russians. never saddens me we're never gonna see a, a movie like this ever again even a tv show it's all cgi now unfortunately those cavalry charges if they were like in game of thrones like that would have made it 10 times better but for making this film possible there we go oh that's funny yeah the so without this film without the soviet army this this film straight wouldn't have happened so first battalion gordon highlanders 
Here we go. These scenes are based off screenplays using directive skill and guesswork so far. Only four scenes done in the final cut have been identified from still existing stills. Okay. Scene one, the Battle of Langley, Blue Crow on the March, the French Army marching past the windmills, is intended to be start of Langley, Prussian Cavalry Charge is almost certainly meant to be used here. Probably the best way to beef up the film somatic, the image were flopped to maintain screen direction. Here the charge is corrected. Notice all the horsemen on the right hand and led to Blucher's on horse explained later why he's wounded. Yep. While Lieutenant Mercer discussed why his guns were aimed at a hollow in the ground, they explained that the French horses appeared to fall over in the crest in the next scene. Took the messenger rides to tell Napoleon that his farmhouse has fallen, then promptly dies. These pictures appear of that scene. Valentina Blucher cutting the scene in the film was very obvious why it was cut. Triumphant seemed at the odd seems. Yeah. Because again, he was marching, you know, into the field of dead. And yeah, there we go. So. All right. I'll pause it there. Oop. So, yep. Yeah. That's it. Hope you guys like the movie. Again, the original movie is in the description. Please go check it out. If you have any comments, you know, write them down there. Otherwise, leave this video a like, and I will see you people next time. Uh, so, yeah. Praise Soviet Army.